today is the first lecture session, part 1. The topic of the lecture is the role of APT in key sectors of society's development. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Definition of ICT Stages of development of information technologies IT The role of ICT Information society Information culture Conclusion Definition of ICT Information and communication technologies ICT a set of methods, workflows and software and hardware tools that are integrated with the aim of collecting, processing, storage, distribution, display and use of information for the benefit of its members. To date, the concept of it includes microelectronics, development and production of computers and software, connection and telephony, mobile services, providing internet access, providing information resources of the internet, as well as a variety of cultural phenomena associated with these areas of activity and rules that govern these areas of activity. Stages of development of information technologies it The first stage of it development until the second half of the X century, manual information technology, tools, pen, inkwell, accounting book. The form of information transmission is mail. But already in the Y century, tools were developed that made it possible to create a mechanized, and then an automated mechanism. In 1830, the English scientist Charles Babbage theoretically investigated the process of performing calculations and justified the basics of computer architecture. In 1843, mathematician Ada Lovelace developed the first program for the Babbage machine. The first photo shows Charles Babbage. The second photo shows Babbage's analytical engine. The third photo shows a diagram of Babbage's analytical engine. The second stage of its development. Since the end of the X century in mechanical information technologies, tools, typewriter, telephone, phonograph. At the end of the X century, the effect of electricity was discovered. After that, the telegraph, telephone, and radio were invented. This made it possible to quickly transfer and accumulate information in any volume. There were means of information communication, so that the transmission of information could be carried out over long distances. In 1854, the English mathematician George Boole published The Laws of Thought, which was a tool for developing and analyzing the complex circuits that make up many thousands of modern computers. In 1876, the first telephone conversations over telegraph wires took place. In 1896, the first production of computer punchers and punch cards began. The photo shows punchers and punch cards. The third stage of its development. It began in the late 40s of the 20th century with the creation of the first computers. During this period, the development of automated information technologies begins, Magnetic and optical media are used, until the end of the 1950s, the main design element in computers was electronic lamps, one generation, the development of ideology and programming techniques was due to the achievements of American scientists. Tools, mainframes and related software, electric typewriter, portable tape recorder, copiers. In 1941, German engineer Konrad Ernst Otto Zuzov created the ZA programmable computing electromechanical machine that has all the properties of a modern computer. In 1944, under the leadership of Howard Aiken, Markai was launched the first American programmable computer in 1946. In the United States, the first electronic machine was created, ENIAC. In 1951, the USSR under the leadership of Sergei Alexeyevich Lebedev created Mesme small electronic counting machine. In 1953, the Soviet Union began Massachusetts production of cars, the first of which were Besom-1, high-speed electronic counting machine, and Strela. 
In 1956, IB introduced the first RAMIC hard disk drive with a capacity of 5M. The first photo shows the German engineer Konrad Ernst Otto Zuzov and the programmable computing electromechanical machine Z. The second photo shows Howard Aitken and the first American Marco programmable computer. The third photo shows an electronic machine, ENIAC. The fourth photo shows the MESM, a small electronic counting machine. The fifth photo shows BESM-1, high-speed electronic counting machine, and ARO. The sixth photo shows the RAMIC hard drive. The fourth stage of its development. Since the early 1970s, electronic information technology. The tools of large computers and automated control systems created on their basis, equipped with a wide range of software. 70s of the Axe century, the invention of microprocessor technology. And there is a personal computer. The advent of microprocessor technology made it possible to finally move from mechanical and electrical means of converting information to electronic ones, which led to the miniaturization of all devices and devices. Computers, computer networks, and data transmission systems are built on microprocessors and integrated circuits. In the 1970s and 1980s, many computers were created and distributed, and an interactive mode of interaction between several users was implemented. The photo shows the first mini computer. The fifth stage of its development. Since the mid minus 80s, computer information technology toolkit a personal computer, PC, with a large number of software products for various purposes. A decision support system is being developed, artificial intelligence is being implemented on a PC, and telecommunications is being used. Microprocessors are used. In the 1980s and 1990s, there was a leap in software development technology. Knowledge representation and processing play an important role in it, knowledge bases and expert systems are being created. Personal computers are widely distributed. In 1990, Intel introduced a new processor, the 32-bit 80486Cs, which has a speed of 27 million operations per second. In 1991, Apple created the first monochrome handheld scanner. In 1992, NEC released the first double-speed CD-ROM drive. In 1994, Mark Andreessen presented to the public his new web browser, called Mosaic Netscape. In 1995, software produced by Microsoft was used by 85% of personal computers. Windows OS is being improved from year to year, already having access to the global Internet. At the present stage, instrumental environments and visual programming systems are being developed for creating programs in high-level languages, Turbo Pascal, Delphi, Visual Basque, Silder, etc. Therefore, Massachusetts distributed data processing is used. The Internet provides unique opportunities, potentially allowing you to create the largest parallel computer to effectively use the existing potential of the network. It can also be considered as a metacomputer, the largest parallel computer consisting of many computers. The first photo shows an Intel processor minus 32-bit. The second photo shows a handheld scanner created by Apple. The third photo shows the first CD-ROM drive created by NEC. The fourth photo shows the first Mosaic Netscape web browser. The role of ICT The potential of ICT as a development tool rests on its ability to improve the way people do things. The rapid changes and advancements in modern technology present a unique opportunity for developing countries to leapfrog intermediate steps in development while improving the quality and broadening the reach of public services. The strategic and effective use of ICT, combined with a reform-oriented mindset, 
necessary set of skills, institutional structure and capacity, appropriate business models, as well as policy and regulatory environments, can facilitate fast and efficient delivery of public services in key sectors. An information society is a society in which the majority of employees are engaged in the production, storage, processing and implementation of information, especially its highest form, knowledge. Positive qualities. The main features of this type of society can be called People's awareness of the usefulness of information in comparison with the opposite products produced by one or another person. The basis of activity is information. It was created by a talented person. The source of advertising is the object of purchase and sale. All members of the society have equal access to sources of information on topics of interest to them. It has absolutely no harmful effects on people. In the modern world, there is a huge protection of intellectual property, and in case of its illegal use, additional penalties should be imposed. All structures interact with each other using information. Ensures the management of the information society by state bodies. Negative traits. Among the most dangerous aspects of society, which accounts for the lion's share of information, are the following. Today, the media has an extremely huge impact on ordinary people. Innovative technologies related to information sources can be introduced and destroy the privacy of individuals in society. The problem of sorting high-quality and reliable information from garbage, which is found in many media and similar electronic resources. Information can be used to commit high-tech crimes that can destroy human lives. There is a problem of adaptation to the information society and technologies, so they constantly need to improve their level of professionalism. An encounter with virtual reality that has completely opposite consequences. Reducing the number of available jobs will lead to Massachusetts unemployment. There will be massive information wars, which carry an open or veiled influence of state structures on each other, the purpose of which is to obtain benefits in any form, both material and political. Information culture The ability to purposefully work with information and use computer information technologies, modern technical means and methods of its reception, processing and transmission. Information culture manifests itself in the skills of using technical devices, in the skills of using computer technology, in the ability to extract information from various sources, in the ability to analyze information, in the knowledge of information flows of the subject area. Conclusion the existence of an information society on our planet has both positive and very negative aspects, which can bring many problems to the lives of people and states. The process of evolution and improvement is irreversible, because people quickly get used to all innovations, and they have already become dependent on the media, internet resources, social networks and other things that enrich the human mind with a certain amount of different kinds of information. It is difficult to say whether such specific information is useful for ordinary people. On the one hand, a person can receive development and new knowledge from such sources, but on the other hand, it can greatly harm him. In any case, the age of information technology has come, which dictates its own rules. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.